Good morning once again. This is trip to the thrift numero 40. Your boys are working. Oh, it's cozy as usual. I got that mid 18th soft squishy hoodie. Just the glasses. Got some shorts, thermals, and then the slides. Now let's go thrift. Let's go. You guys, look at that. Looks like a champion. Let's go. Who is that? Number eight? You already know. Scotty Pippen. Let's go, boy. I found this vintage Nike windbreaker in the blue. This is like a Dallas Cowboys colorway. Huge Nike check in the back. Vintage Chalkline official. $25. Still up though. 49ers. This right here is ridiculous. Vintage Nike track jacket. But y'all know the blue tag. It's cool. Just found these vintage Nike Laker shorts. Super dope because it's like all embroidered. And they logo Nike. Vintage Nike right there. And then on the back it's got Lakers embroidered. These are dope and it's super high quality. So probably gonna scoop these up. Just found this Tommy Hilfiger duffel bag. Tommy jeans. Crazy strap. YSL scarf? For sure bootleg. Doesn't even have a tag. You gotta start building Lil A's. Sneaker collection. See right there, four bucks. For Jordan 7s, the Bordeaux's? Let's go. So I ended up only copying the Scottie Pippen jersey and I left the shoes because they were actually ripping. Always check before you buy. Let's go. What up guys? Change of duffel. I got the YSL duffel right here. And then I'm actually gonna be selling once again to Buffalo Exchange. I just brought a whole bunch of t-shirts and I actually brought the Tommy Hilfiger jacket with the huge Hilfiger spell out on the bottom of the little buttocks area because no one wants to pick it up for some reason. So I'm just gonna move it. Um, hopefully there's some items that I could actually pick up in there. So we'll see how much I make and we'll see what I can find inside the stuff. Duffel boys. Dude, I found another one. I am not lying guys, look at that, $19. See the off-white tag right there, size XL. You see the white right there, and then the white right there, and then on the back, it's got the off-white logo. Holy crap, I think this is fake. Only because it does not even have an inner tag. So I might have to pass on this. All right guys, so I ended up making $48 in cash and like some change. In total, I probably spent on all those items maybe like 12 to like $14. And then I turned it into 48, so decent profit. I'm gonna go hit a couple more thrifts. I know it's a little dark right now, but ooh. About to hit a couple more thrifts and then I'll see what else I can find. Let's go. Yo, just got to Goodwill. Let's see what I can find in here. You guys see it? I'm about to check if it's legit. It's a Gucci belt right there. You see the big buckle. Yeah, so this belt is actually fake. It's still dope to see, and they're only charging 20, but gonna pass. So I found this red tech fleece. They are a size small, but these are in really good condition, so. Scoop! And then right here I found a bathing ape. Ape t-shirt. Right there you see it, ape by a bathing ape. Very fire. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up, man? <laughs> Picking up the guest shirt? Yes, sir. Oh, shit, sick as Is it the right size? It should be. I don't know, I mean, like, that's the, yeah. yeah. This should be good. If anything, I'll just switch it out then. Around two. Or yeah. Yo, I did not know they had long sleeves too. I did not know. If I knew, I would have been like Aaron. I got more money in the bank. <laughs> hoodie mellow. Had to switch up and tighten the hoodie because it's a little cold and took the contacts off. So now I got the glasses on. But. Me and the boo-boo just got to the mall. I actually have to exchange this. It's been over 45 days. So Champ said that they can only do exchanges, no store credit or full refund. So hopefully I can find a pair of sneakers. Let's go. All right guys, most likely it's gonna be around here. Maybe the 97s, Vapor Maxes or the TNs. Let's we'll see what else they got. All right guys, looks like I'm gonna check these out. I'm gonna try them on, size 11. Oh, 
All right, guys, it looks like I'm gonna go with these. Scoop them up, make that exchange. Damn, when the boo-boo comes up on her mom's vintage Versace bag? A soldier bag? Soldier, shoulder bag. Fire, though. Let's go. What up, guys? I gotta bend down extra hard because I can't get in the frame. But I got the gloves. I'm here at the Goodwill bins once again. Hopefully, we find some stuff again like I did last time. And yeah, let's just get these gloves on, boy. Let's go. All right, real quick, I'm gonna go through all the pieces I found. Harley Davidson, Las Vegas tee. <laughs> found this soccer jersey, but it just had the kappa going down the sleeve, so I think I'm gonna pick this up. See the Kappa logo right there, so. This one right here is a cut for sure. It's kind of big, it's like a double XL, but it's a vintage Nike tee. Embroidered logo right there. Lastly, I don't know why people donate this. It has a couple stains, but those will wash out pretty easily. Size medium, Nike track pants, and this is what I saw at the corner of my eye. I saw this. So you can see right there, these are the Air Max joggers. Super fire. This is gonna be a cut. All right guys, so I decided that I'm just gonna leave with the Nike tee the Harley Davidson and the Nike Air Max track pants. Go ahead, bro. Just ran into a fan. Yo, nice to meet you. Me? Shout out to my brother Aaron. Nice to Thanks meet you, bro. Out. Yes, sir. All right, guys, so as you guys saw, I picked up the Nike track pants, the vintage Nike t-shirt, and the Harley Davidson tee. Another successful trip to the bins. I actually only spent $3, I think like $3 and like 30 cents. So that was super chill. Those Air Max track pants were crazy to find. Those are not that old, so I was surprised to actually see them in there. Sorry about the lighting, but I'm against the sun. Time to go head to another thrift. Let's go. Damn, there's no light. What up guys, just pulled up to Goodwill. I don't know if you can see it behind me right there. But yeah, this is another stop that we're gonna make. Hopefully we can find some stuff. And yeah, let's go inside. Just found this super dope vintage Nike. Windbreaker with the hood. This is super heavy duty. It's got the tuck away hood. The details are crazy. It's got a Nike logo embroidered. Nike on the zippers. Two extra pockets with zippers. On the back you see the big Nike logo right there. And it's actually reversible so let me open it up. So when you flip it inside out this is actually the only logo on the whole jacket. But the other side's obviously fire so I'm gonna cut. Man, it seemed pretty bare in there, like I wasn't gonna find anything. But as you guys saw, I managed to come up on the Nike Windbreaker Reversal. Very fire. For sale. Pulling up to Ross now. Damn, that blue's looking crazy. Just gotta pick up a few last minute things. And I'll check the sneaker section for you guys. Dang, they got some tech loose in here. That infrared colorway too. They actually have these Adidas slides here. Only 20 bucks, but these are like extra hard. What's good guys? So I'm back here at the parents' apartment because I hit a couple spots in their area. So I decided to just come through here and film here. So without further ado, let's jump into the hall. But yeah, don't mind the background. This is just where it happened to have the best lighting in their apartment. So we're gonna be doing it here in the kitchen. In no particular order, I'm just gonna get into all the pieces that your boy came across, so let's go. Starting off with a banger, vintage champion size 40, dream team, USA number eight, so you know that is Scotty Pippen. This has actually already been sold, so this is on hold for the homie, so this one is not the same. Right here is the size double XL vintage Nike t-shirt that I found at the Goodwill Vins. You can see right there, very, very simple. It just says Nike with the check all embroidered right there. Nothing on the back. So this is super simple, but very, very clean and will be for sale. This one right here I just picked up. I'm not sure if anyone's gonna want it, but just to let you guys know, Harley Davidson tees do really well at Buffalo exchanges. So they really like to pick these pieces up, if you needed to know. This is an ape tee, which is by a bathing ape. So technically there's a big shirt, and then on the back on top of the neck it just says Ape by Bathing Ape, somewhere in the Ape universe, and then it's got their little logo right there. But this was a super crazy piece to come across. Very, very unexpected. Next right here, as you guys will see, I came across a lot of Nike in this trip to the thrift. This one is so fire. 
It's a blue and black, very heavy duty Nike windbreaker hooded jacket. It's got so many details on the jacket. It's just so fire. It's got Nike on the zipper, Nike embroidered right there, Nike on the zippers right here. And then it's got like little Nike logos actually on the button. And then on the back, it's actually got a Nike logo with the big N. This is actually 3M and it is embroidered. And as you guys saw in the footage inside the Goodwill, this is actually a reversible jacket. It's tagged the size medium, but I'd actually say this is like a large. So if you're interested, DM me. Another vintage Nike windbreaker. This is actually a first for me. I've never came across a vintage Nike blue tag piece. This colorway is just super fire. You guys know I messed with the red and the blue, but this one's in a red, blue, and gray, and then it's got Nike very, very cleanly on the zipper. It's got an embroidered Nike right there. This one is actually a size medium. Nothing on the back, but this would be for sale as well. Another Nike windbreaker. This one is like a Dallas Cowboy colorway. You can see right here, dark blue, and then this little obsidian. I don't really know the color of this blue but it's got an embroidered Nike right there. This one is a size large, and then it's got a huge Nike sign on the back right there. This is a very fire piece and will also be the same. This was crazy to find at the Goodwill bins. This is a size medium uh, Nike track pant, and it's actually the Nike Air Max track pant. I don't know if you can really see that, but it says Nike right there and then Air right here. It's got the cuff bottoms with a little like plasticky material. And then on the back, this is actually the piece that I noticed. Let me give you guys an up close look. If you look at it right here, it says Air, Air, Nike Air, Max, Air Max right there at the bottom. All those logos, that's actually what caught my eye. And that's the reason why I picked up this piece. Very dope come up at the Goodwill Fitness. Another Nike piece, this one is a size small. It's a pair of Nike Tech Fleece shorts. Once again, this is a size small, this will be for sale. You can see it right there, it's got the signature like tech fleece zipper, got the Nike logo right there, and then it's got like little black lines all throughout in the red colorway. This will be for sale on my Instagram as well. Lastly, I wish these were my size. These are super clean. This is a vintage pair of Nike size XL Laker shorts. These are so dope. Everything is embroidered. You see right there, the NBA logo, the Nike check, and the very, very clean, simple Los Angeles Lakers logo right there. And then on the back, it's actually got Lakers embroidered on the little booty. But yeah, this is a size XL and will also be for sale. All right, guys, I'm working super hard to get videos out to you guys. I've been on a roll lately. I've been able to get a video out to you guys every other day for the past maybe four videos, I don't know, four or five. But I hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm really putting in a lot of work for you guys to enjoy. But once again, this was Trip to the Thrift, numero 40. Who's number 40 in the NBA? Nope, I don't know. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was Trip to the Thrift, numero 40. And once again, you already know the slogan, so let's wrap it up in my parents' kitchen. What? Good.